Greetings, DU community. I'm Corrine Langsfeld, Interim Provost and Executive Vice Chancellor. And today I join with the DU deans, faculty, and administration to celebrate your remarkable academic achievements. Before we begin, I want to take a moment to acknowledge that the land where the University of Denver now sits is the ancestral homeland of the Cheyenne and Arapaho tribes, of whose loss we both recognize and mourn. Like the history of so many institutions in the American West, ours is complex and sometimes painful. In recognition of this fact, and to underscore our commitment to the inclusion and equity, we commit to listen to and affirm the stories of all in our community. And we offered continued respect, support to the Cheyenne and Arapaho tribes, as well as all other Native American communities throughout Colorado and the Rocky Mountain West. And now, let me share how proud we are of you, our DU graduates. Commencement is one of the happiest days of a university campus. Even though we are not physically together, today is still a joyful celebration of your academic achievements. The work you have done, the community-engaged research you have conducted, the relationships you have built, it all goes beyond your time here. You exemplify the mission of the University of Denver by embodying DU's commitment to the public good. We couldn't be prouder and look forward to seeing what you do next. It is now my pleasure to introduce Matthew Walter, President of the Undergraduate Student Government, and Grace Sullivan, Vice President of the Graduate Student Government. They will each offer remarks on behalf of the students. Following their remarks, Chancellor Hafner will address the graduates. Thank you, Dr. Langsfeld. A place can be the existence of something or designates its absence. It can have a role or be a moment. The University of Denver, this place we've existed in for the last four years, is a place in each of those ways. There exists here five blocks of physical space filled with beautiful water features, rolling green hills, exotic flora, and magnificent red brick buildings. Those buildings, of course, help shape the roles of this space, learning such skills as accounting and how to navigate the hall in broken $3 shower flip-flops with little more than a towel on, where we can cry together, laugh together, and be inspired by one another. There have been many places along the way, moments where I made connections so deep that I was moved to tears afterward, where I was inspired by the people around me. We all experience this place in its various forms. But for many, this symphony of sights, sounds, smells, and feelings culminated in something more than a place. For us, this was a home. Home is difficult to define, yet incredibly easy to recognize. You know when you walk in a room that something feels like home. For me, the first time I stepped on campus, I knew in my heart this was it. I toured 23 schools, and DU was the last. When it came time to apply, I did so at only two schools, the University of Denver and my backup. The thing about that tour day is that campus felt like home, but it wasn't fully there yet, an important distinction. Home is not something which just happens, it requires effort. Some places have more potential than others, depending on your preferences, Yet the full realization of home needs something more than just existing. We need to find our physical spot, but we also need to find our role and our moments. From JMAC hallway yoga to a way too crowded Keystone condo, we found space to make our own. From club to internship, job to class, our roles flowed like running water. We adapted in each new environment, figuring out how to navigate the 20 credit course load, the side hustle as a beans barista, and that internship at Wells Fargo. All the while we had moments, places and times so meaningful, we will always remember them. Our class still recalls the fun nights at Stad, dollar slice night at Anthony's, and burritos at Pete's. We went all over the world and came back again. We got up early to see the sunrise from the Nagel parking garage, we climbed buildings and trees, broke into empty Driscoll North, and cheered when Denver Hockey won the Frozen Four. Tear-filled late nights, 
concerned about the state of society and the future of our world, brought us together. Sometimes the silent comfort of our friends was all that was needed to feel secure. We said goodbye to friends who graduated before us and prepare to say goodbye to those friends still hereafter. We may be frustrated at times with this place. After all, nothing is perfect. But it brought us together, provided space for us to grow and to make moments. For that, I will forever be grateful. Every day here is a blessing. We are surrounded by friends who love us, staff and faculty who took time to support us. Despite the cloud of fear and uncertainty hanging over the present, there are still moments where rays of hope shine through, bringing with them an uncontrollable, warm, fuzzy feeling. For those of you who know this feeling, you have made DU your home. It wasn't always easy, but you worked at it and found that this place and the people in it mean far more. Though it may be hard, I encourage you to go out and do it again in your next place. For those of us who come by home easier, remember to reach out and see how you can help build that sense for others. So appreciate the past, the moments and the roles we had here, but look to the future because it truly is ours. We have so much power in our hands to elevate our experience and that of others, to create belonging and security for those in our home. Take ownership of that power and take ownership of your place in this world. Thank you, Matt. That was so beautifully said. Well, I don't think this is what any of us had imagined. And I have many admiring things that I would like to say about the exceptional academic performance and passion of the graduate students on this campus. But the reality of the situation is not lost on me. And I wanna say, I am so sorry for all that you have lost and sacrificed this year. Maybe you finished your last quarter sequestered away from your loved ones. Maybe you lost your job. Maybe you lost a loved one. And I wouldn't be true to myself if I didn't take this opportunity to say something about the violence of our time. I'm talking about Ahmed Arbery, George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and all those who came before. More names than I can say in my time allotted. So I want to take this moment to honor all of my fellow graduate students, particular students of color. May our graduation, our hard work, not be lost in the fray. We know that to graduate from the University of Denver is no small feat. So may today feel all the more triumphant, given all that you have endured. You may think, and sometimes I think, my fellow graduate students, that doors won't open for you or for me given the circumstances. You must make them open and be a part of a community that opens doors for others, for your fellow DU students. And as we learn new ways to survive, we also must find new ways to celebrate. So I hope that your virtual or less than 10 people celebrations feel just as jubilant. Because on this day, we celebrate you. We commemorate resilience and practice hope. And I do mean practice hope because hope doesn't always come easily. On this day, we thank you for all that you have given this university and have yet to give the world. So cheers to you and your next chapter, DU graduates of 2020. Thank you, Grace. I'm Jeremy Hafner, Chancellor of the University of Denver. And it's my distinct honor to congratulate you, the tested and tried, the talented, and triumphant, the very different and very distinct class of 2020. Today is the first time we've recognized the accomplishments of all of our graduates, all at one time. There are 3,300 of you celebrating the momentous completion of your bachelor, master's, and doctoral degrees across the University of Denver's 10 schools and colleges. This gives new meaning to 1DU. Your lawyers and historians, computer scientists, and global communicators. Your mathematicians, artists, musicians, and bioengineers. Some of you already have fulfilling careers, and your time at DU has given you fresh skills and perhaps a new start on life. But for others, you're heading out for the first time, eager to find jobs, 
start businesses, and serve the public good. At DU, you've learned critical thinking, how to have difficult conversations, how to recognize inequity, of which there is plenty in this world, and when to step in with sensitivity and kindness. Right now, right this moment, here in the United States and across the world, we surely need you. The coronavirus and the protests, both peaceful and violent, that we've seen in the streets of Denver and across the country, have reminded us yet again of the gross inequities and the grave needs across our systems, from education, health care, and housing, to our criminal system, politics, and our economy. We all hope you will use your DU education to help bring peace to our communities and that you will contribute in some way to the public good. This bears repeating because it is the aspiration of our faculty and staff, all of us here at the University of Denver, that you go out and contribute to the public good. While your academic experiences have been so very different, the University of Denver will bond you together for the rest of your lives. June 12, 2020 is a day we'll never forget. Not just because that's the date on your diploma, but because this is a historic time. Think about it for a moment. On March 12th, exactly three months ago, a state of emergency was declared in Denver. And on September 12th, exactly three months from now, the academic cycle we have all come to count on will resume. Fall quarter and fall semester classes at DU will begin again and you might feel a little out of sorts if it's the first time since kindergarten that you haven't thought about gathering school supplies. But I do know this, whether you're here in Denver or scattered across the globe, you will always remember your commencement as an extraordinary time. But the coronavirus does not define us, especially not today. Because the chain of events that brought each of you here began years and years ago. So let's put the pandemic aside for a moment and be grateful that we are right here, right now. Your degree from the University of Denver is a great gift and it's vital that we take this moment to express gratitude to those who supported and championed you throughout this process. We must, of course, thank the extraordinary faculty members who shared their knowledge and inspired and mentored you. We must thank DU staff too as they are vital to the experiences and support you had and for keeping our campus so beautiful, so safe and clean. Let us also thank the friends you made here. I hope you count lifelong friendships as one of the many blessings of your time at DU. And we also acknowledge and thank veterans, active duty servicemen and women, and reservists who graduate today for their past and present or future service. And finally, and most importantly, let's thank your loved ones. We thank parents, siblings, grandparents, aunts, and uncles, and all those we have chosen to be family, as well as extended and blended families of all shapes and sizes for their support, love, and sacrifice. These people, especially, deserve our deepest gratitude. Now, we can't see you now which makes all of us very, very sad. But I will ask this of you anyway. Please stand up, tip your mortar bird, your baseball cap, or your glass to show the gratitude that you have and the great joy you are feeling and the joys that others are feeling on your behalf and just give thanks. And while you're doing that, I'm going to turn and give thanks to the deans behind me. Dean? Now, while this isn't quite the ceremony we expected, and we will celebrate together in the spring of 2021, we have some very important business to take care of, the official conferring of your degrees. So wherever you are, please stand if you're not already doing so. 
Stand in solidarity for the experiences you all shared as the class of 2020. Stand for the values of lifelong learning. Stand for the wisdom that is embodied in the disciplines you studied and will never forget. And stand because you did the hard work, you believed in yourself, and you earned this moment. So now, here you go. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the University of Denver, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I hereby confer upon each of you the doctoral, educational specialist, master's, or baccalaureate degree, and admit to you all the rights, powers, and privileges pertaining thereto. Congratulations, Class of 2020! Hello DU Spring Class of 2020. I'm Colorado Governor Jared Polis and I want to congratulate you on your somewhat unusual graduation. It's not only a great personal achievement for you, but it's critical to the success of your, for your future and for the, our state's future and for the world's future. And it's even more impressive that you've reached this milestone under these extraordinary circumstances, demonstrating that you have the kind of resourcefulness and perseverance that our state, our country, and the world need in the face of this unprecedented challenge. Moving on to a new chapter in your life is always difficult, even more uncertain in these times. Fear and anxiety are understandable, but you also, we all also need to have hope. Armed with your DU degree, you should have the confidence that you've earned in your ability to overcome great challenges, recover from hardship, and create something new and lasting. Colorado and the world are counting on you as we work together to overcome the challenges we face and make our state stronger, healthier, and more prosperous than ever before. Congratulations and go Pioneers! Congratulations to the graduates of the class of 2020. You've achieved so much and the hard work is now done, at least for the moment. I know that uh, this has not been the commencement that you had imagined or dreamed about, but it says a lot about you that you have persevered. And on the other end of this pandemic, you are ready to enter the world and to contribute with innovation and creativity dedication and commitment. Again, congratulations. Godspeed. Hi, it's Congresswoman Diana DeGant. Congratulations to our wonderful DU graduates. You're brilliant, you're intrepid, and I can't wait to see where life takes you. I know today isn't what any of you expected, but I believe your collective experience, joining, creating, and leaving your legacy on this DU community has served a profound purpose. Because when the risk passes and the world returns to some new form of normal, your character and your habits of mind will be of even greater value. I have no doubt you are prepared for the lives and careers of purpose that you've always dreamed of, and you will succeed. Because at DU, you not only received the academic preparation and skills you came here for, but you also develop the habits of mind, the strength of character, the worldview, and the career preparation that will enable you to pivot and navigate in response to the massive changes that you will face in the decades to come. I think of the coronavirus as a test, a test that shows what you're made of. And of course, all of you pass gloriously. You pass because you are courageous, you're aware, you're responsible, you're resilient, and you are ethical. To the class of 2020, we send you off confidently and with our best wishes into our world that will be better off with you in it. Congratulations on a job well done. Now be kind, be well, and do good. Thank you. To the class of 2020. This isn't the spring you expected. This isn't the graduation you deserve. But the impact of COVID-19 doesn't wash away your accomplishments. Congratulations. We're heading into our new normal. There could be some permanent changes in the way that people shop and work and live. You're ready for this. You're ready to face the world head on. 
So take on new challenges and live life to its fullest. Congratulations and God bless you. To the University of Denver class of 2020, congratulations. My name is Brian Piegler. I'm a 2005 alum, as well as a member of the University Alumni Council. I'm so proud of your achievements over these past few years, and I'll be excited to finally congratulate you face to face once all of this craziness is over. Once again, congrats. Congratulations to the class of 2020 graduating from the University of Denver. You've certainly experienced an interesting year, and I don't think any of us will forget the class of 2020. As the chair of the University of Denver Alumni Council, I'd like to welcome you into the ranks of 150,000 University of Denver alumni. We certainly hope that you will continue to stay involved and engaged with the university. Wishing you continued success in your endeavors, and please be safe out there. The roots of the University of Denver, which go back to 1864, are in its pioneering spirit. That's a good thing to keep in mind today when pioneers are much in demand. You are in demand. As pioneers, you face a frontier that is unknown, unexplored, and rife with big challenges. And it's full of opportunity. Congratulations, graduates. Use the tools you've acquired during your time at this great university to focus on what's important to you, to be unafraid. Your adventure will be unique. Your pioneering spirit will make all the difference. Congratulations. You've just earned a degree from one of the most prestigious universities in the country with some of the most innovative programs in the nation. I know this ceremony isn't what you expected it to be and probably wanted it to be, but we're all in a collective fight as it relates to the environment and the virus. That being said, there is a tremendous opportunity to be part of the new normal, to create the new normal, to be a leader in society going forward. You have the, you, you have the tools and I think you have the desire, so go get it. Hello graduates. Well, this is some curveball they've thrown us, but I feel your pain. You see, my graduation was canceled due to the Black Plague. However, as you make your way into this world, remember three things. First, find your courage and follow your dreams. You don't know where they'll lead, but it'll be very exciting. Second, never be afraid to ask questions. That's where you're gonna learn. And third, move forward on life's journey with kindness and grace. And for goodness sakes, find love and let yourself be loved. It's always been the measure of my success. Congratulations, graduates. Go get it. Congratulations, class of 2020. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, we acknowledge all of your hard work and send our best wishes for all your future endeavors. We look forward to celebrating with you next spring for Magnus Arena. And we hope you enjoy this well-deserved day of celebration with your loved ones. Again, congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020, to all of my wonderful, magnificent, beautiful friends graduating this year. I just want to wish you the warmest, warmest congratulations and let you know how proud I am to see you just chug through this year, to chug through the last few quarters with everything that's going on. You guys deserve the highest praise, and I am so, ex so excited to see what you guys accomplish in the next year and in your upcoming careers. I love you so, so much, and I can't wait to celebrate with you in, one, in person one day. And and give you all of my hugs. Mwah. I love you so much. Woo, 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 woo. Once again, congratulations to the class of 2020. We wish you a wonderful day of celebration with your loved ones. We are deeply proud of you. Good luck, stay strong, be positive, and above all else, continue to serve others. Bye.